Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Ohio with the very same frauditor that I covered the other day that uh, tried to audit an elementary school, but ended up being, well, uh, run off by the uh, cops after he ended up telling the superintendent that, well, uh, what he was going to do, and now he's going to do a high school, but he ends up getting criminally trespassed from the high school. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh, yeah, I'm here to be a visitor. Okay, come on in. Good. Hold on. You're good. There we go. There's the main office. There's all visitors west side. Well, Frauditor, I am just going to let you know right now that even though I'm sure they know who you are, I sent the principal of that elementary school a nice little email describing uh, your channel and what you are all about to her using my own school board email address. That way, she knows that I am legitimately a member of a school board, and an employee. One who is deeply concerned about idiots like this. To the point where I even uh, sent her a link to where a pri where she could file a privacy complaint on your channel. So I hope she does that. So enjoy what's coming to you. Hello, Blake. Hi. How you doing? You all right? Hi. How's it going, sir? David White. Nice to meet you. I'm the principal. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Good, how are you? Can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to do some recording of your building if uh, possible. No, that's not possible. Why is that? Why isn't it possible? It's a, public, it's a public building, right? Well, I need a background check. I'm going to need to know why you're filming. And we don't have releases on all the kids to be filmed. Okay, so uh, just the publicly accessible areas. I don't. I don't have any intentions of filming no, any don't children. Have any public accessible areas. This is a public school, correct? Yeah, but once again, no background check. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you work for. None of those things. That's so it's a, a safety. That's an illegal search. Oh boy, it's a violation of the Fourth Amendment to show your ID to make sure that the right people come into the school so the children are safe from. Scumbags! Oh no! Well, I guess all the uh, background checks and everything like that, fingerprinting and uh, all that other stuff was just illegal whenever I uh, got employed with my local school district, huh? Is that the case? Well, no, I don't think so. It's not a, definitely not a violation of the Fourth Amendment, you nitwit. If you were to conduct a background check without my consent... Well, he, he didn't. I, don't, I didn't I don't say I was it. doing one. Well, I don't need to. Well, what I'm saying is in order to be treated like a visitor here, I'm assuming you must sign in, like, to get a, vis a visitor's pass. That's all I'm trying. Any any general member of the public is able to obtain a visitor's pass here? No. No? Why not? not even close. Why? What do you mean why? I just told you why. We need to know. Do you have a student here? I, d I don't answer questions. Okay. Well, it's time... We're done. You come with me? You can film me. Where would you like me to come with you, sir? Yeah. I said, where would you like me to... If I... I don't want to step outside yet. I'd like to continue to do my filming. Oh, boy. I can only imagine what some of the parents would do if they saw this video and knew who you were. Yeah. If you recall what they did to Freddy Krueger in the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, I'm sure... That would be a starting point right there for you to research on what the possibilities are. 
Here, the school's asked you to leave, please. The school has not asked me to leave. He told me to come with him. Okay, he's asked you to step outside. Do Would I? Would you like this gentleman to leave? Yes, of course. Okay. You've been asked to leave. So do I, if I, and if I don't, because I'm on public property, right? This is, this is, this is public. I just, can you, can you get a supervisor here? Not right now, no. Why, why not? If you want to step outside, we can have this conversation outside. Well, I, right now I feel like my rights are being kind of infringed okay. upon. And if we, if you like to step outside, we can have this conversation outside. I will call a supervisor. We'll do everything you want when we're outside. But this is public property right here. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I disagree with what you're saying. That's fine. You can disagree, but I need you to step outside. So are you giving me a lawful order? Did your parents drop you on your head as a child? Is that why you act this way? Because of course it's a lawful order. You are in a restricted area where most people are not allowed to go. And for good reason. Because like I said in a previous video, the first priority of a the teacher is to protect the children, and that's exactly what they are doing here. Five minutes later, school says what? Uh, you you are you are a school a, safety you're zone. On school property right now. I, I know I'm on school property. This is public property o owned by the Ohio Board of Education, which is a public entity, paid for by taxpayer dollars. What's what's, what's the end goal here? There, are you just trying to see how? Do you know? Do you know what a First Amendment audit is? I'm well aware. Okay, so it's a perfect stress test for what you guys are doing right now. It's a, that, that, if you want a good elaboration on it, it's to see if you're going to violate my rights as a human being. So are you going to tell me that I'm not allowed in this school? Because if you tell me I'm not allowed in this school, then that's where I start to have a problem. Oh, you're a First Amendment auditor. Does that make you special? No, it doesn't. In fact, it makes you a complete low life at this point because you think that your own rights trump everybody else's rights to be safe and secure. That's what is going on here. The fact that you want to push everybody else around and stomp on everybody else's rights because it's the uh, rights for me and not for thee. That's the way First Amendment auditors are. I do. I ha I'm conducting official business protected underneath the First Amendment. Yeah. Go ahead and educate your officers. Am I being detained? No, absolutely not. So I, you don't suspect me of committing a crime or anything? You're not being detained. You're free to leave if you'd like. No, I'm, am I free to go back in the school as a visitor? No, not right now. Why not? Am I not a general member of the public? You're, you're not going in the school. Why? You're not. Why? And what happens if I do? Are you going to arrest me? You, if you have no legitimate business... I do. I'm conducting official business. It's a First Amendment protected activity, and if you don't accept that, yes. if you don't accept that as a legitimate answer, you've been, you've been asked by Mr. White to leave the property. You can't ask somebody to leave. You can't trespass me. You can't ask me to leave for not for doing nothing. I've done nothing illegal. Arrest me. You work on the school property. You've been asked to leave. You can't do that. You can't do that. I'd go ahead and get your supervisor here. I'm, I'm all you're gonna get. I understand what you're trying to do. You're trying to make this into something bigger than it needs to be. I already have something bigger than what it needs to be at a different department. If you guys know who I am or you have any education about what I'm doing, I would suggest you look into what I what I'm I'm already on the news, man. This is what I do. This is what I do. Oh, oh, big deal. You were on the news. I wonder what it was for. Being a complete moron? Well, guess what, boy? Uh, Ted Bundy was on the news as well at one point. And guess what they did to him? Would you like to identify yourself? No. I'm not going to answer any of your questions. In the situation that you're creating here yourself? I didn't create nothing. You guys showed up. I didn't call you. I'm trying to be a visitor. What, what, why am I not allowed to be treated as a visitor of this school? Answer me that. Why am I not allowed to be treated as a visitor of the school? I'd love, uh, what I'd love right now is an unlawful criminal trespass. I'd love for you guys to do that to me. 
because I didn't do anything wrong. I've been more than professional. I shook your hand. You shook your, you know what I mean? And if what's required of me to, to if, if what they require of me, like a visitor to sign in as my first and last name, I'll give them that. Hey, Dipstick, you already had your chance to prove that you weren't a threat to anybody. You could have had handled this a lot better because all they were wanting you to do was go through a background check and yet you were crying about, oh, it's a Fourth Amendment violation. Well, deal with it. The asshole, because they want to know who's coming into the school. Because if any parent ever found out that some nitwit like you came around and started doing your vile little acts, such as, well, maybe trying to get together with some of the children, then there would be hell to pay from the parents. I'll provide that for you. You said, what was your first and last name? I'm not going to give you that. I said, if, if, if that's what's required, if they're going to allow me entry and that's required, if that's what they're saying, their pol even though policy does not trump law, they, I have no requirement to give them my name. That's actually a violation of my Fourth Amendment right. So other than you doing a First Amendment audit, you have no legitimate business here at the city of West Carrollton School. It's a high school. You don't have a student here. You don't go to school here. I do have a legitimate business here, and no I don't wish to disclose what that is past this point. Okay. So you've been asked by the principal to leave and also by the school resource officer. You're on the school property right now. If you want to continue to do this, you can do so from the sidewalk over there. Okay? But you've been asked to leave and you need to leave. Well, Frauditor, what's it going to be? Are you going to get arrested or are you going to leave? Tough decision. Tough decision. And I dare you to take this to court. I want to see how far this would go if you were able to pull it off. I mean, yeah, well-established procedures to keep dumbasses out of the uh, school. That way the children are protected. So let me think. Do you actually think that they would uh, allow you to win a court case based on that? No, I don't think so. And if I don't leave, you're going to do what? You, you need to walk over the sidewalk. Say it. If I don't leave, what are you going to do? Are you refusing do? to leave the school property? I want you to give me... I'm a, letting you know that the school, inside the school, right here... You can't, you, right here, I'm, I'm, this is public property. This is, without, without a, without me committing a crime, if you give me a lawful order to leave this, there's, that, you're going to open up room for litigation. you continue to say you are now criminally trespassing. No, I'm not. Asked you to leave. No, I'm not. And now you're criminally trespassing. You've been asked by Mr. White to leave and by Officer Flowey. You've extended any, any first minute audit that you have now because you're being asked to leave. I'm allowed to be here conducting you guys any, doing any sort of official business. Under Glick versus Cunefee, I the ACLU versus the city of Alvarez. Yeah, I noticed how you stumbled right there, dude. Uh, you do realize that those two particular cases that you just uh, spouted out of your pie hole have nothing to do with uh, being trespassed from a uh, school property. They have more to do with uh, observing p police in the line of duty. So unless you're planning on videotaping the police and not the school board, that's fine. But those two cases have nothing to do with the schools or anything like that. So you really need to try again. Sir, yep. just, sir just, to, just to clarify, you were willing to pursue charges for criminal trespass? Yes. Okay. All right. I need you to leave the All property. Right. It's your last chance to leave. You're going to be placed under arrest. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll leave under threat of arrest. Okay. Now, and actually, I need to identify you now because you because you stayed too long. So what is your name and uh, date of birth? You, you, now, can, can we get off the property so that way that's what you wanted of me, right? I, ha I have to identify you because I have to criminally so trespass you. So now. do you want me to... When I asked you to leave and you didn't leave, that's when you criminally trespassed because you stayed too long. So now I need your name and date of birth to identify you. And if I refuse to give you that? You'll be arrested for failure to identify. Or I can give you a criminal trespass notice and you can leave. But I have to identify you now. You've passed the point of, of your First Amendment audit. How, how so? Okay, I need your name and date of birth to be placed under arrest. Okay, under threat of arrest, I'll give you my, my name and date of birth. Okay. Well, you're not a very good uh, First Amendment frauditor if you're going to be giving them your... A uh, name and everything like that. I mean, where is the complaint about the uh, Fourth Amendment violation now, huh? I mean, you were going to be arrested, so you might as well just go in and give it up, huh? Which basically means they can now take you to court and make sure that you will be punished for all this bullshit. So yeah, good luck with that, dumbass, and enjoy 
Well, your new criminal record. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?